Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix. This is the 2022 BMW X4M Competition. It is a three liter all wheel drive vehicle with 503 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. This could be my next daily driver. I don't know, I'm pretty excited. Love the Sao Paulo yellow color. You can put in the comments below whether you like it. It kind of looks like highlighter yellow, but in reality, in person here, it's just the really coolest color. And it's got some impressive features, not just in handling, technology, and comfort. And we're gonna take it for a drive and you're gonna join us. This is the first drive of the X4M competition. We do a lot more than car reviews and first drives. We also give you first looks and we give you information so you can have car smarts. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell so you don't miss anything because you'll want to get those notifications. Let's get started with taking this for cruise. So the first drive is just getting a feel for what this vehicle is like. It's very German. I love the way you can manually drive this or put it into a sport mode. The fact is, is that this vehicle is that perfect all around balance. You can put it on the track. You can put it on the street. You can drive it daily. You could drive it through the winter. I would, but the whole idea of this vehicle is that it has everything you could possibly want. And that's what I really love about this vehicle. If you're used to a BMW X4, X5, you're not going to get in this thing and feel uncomfortable, but it does have some extra buttons. It has an M1 and an M2, which puts it into your sport modes, the M2 being the most aggressive. And what I also like about this is that it's super intuitive. You've got your iDrive, which is normal, your bright red start stop button, which yes, you have to have that. And we're here at Thermal Raceway, which is BMW's track. It's in Palm Springs. So you're going to see some beautiful homes and some beautiful scenery around us. But what this is really all about is having a vehicle that just does it all. And I think it does. I mean, and this is not a full review. This is going to give you the overview. First, visibility is good, except for out the back. You do have an around view camera, and that is important. Having heated seats in this vehicle, I think is important because around even here in the desert, it gets cold in the morning and you want to have some warm butt. But as far as the vehicle itself, looking in front of you, I like the gauges. They're all digital. It's important to know that big, beefy, meaty steering wheel, which is what they're starting to do now. And I think that's one of those things that, you know, people don't think about that. They think, oh, you know, you know, I, I don't need a big, beefy steering wheel. I think you do. I think if you're driving a car that says competition, you need to have that. All the information is here in front of you. On the left side, you get your cruise control. On the right side, you have your audio system. Then you've got all of your information in front of you, multimedia interface, standard BMW, nothing of a big surprise there, which I do appreciate. Now, going further down, you've got everything that you would expect in the BMW with the vents further down you've got your climate control and then below that you've got all of your settings which could be set for a couple different things the back seat has charging cables and it's a little tight this is more of that mid-size suv but it's about this driver's seat that's most important you put your foot in it it just squats and goes you can turn the volume up you can you can zap it back to its home base i find it very frustrating to be honest with you i would not use it i would shut it off but Again, this is something people want to keep their hands on the wheel and when they want to do the volume down, they just do the volume down. Listen, I just rather turn the volume down. The, the button's there. That is my only beef. See, and this drives me crazy. That is my only beef with this vehicle. I do shoot my own footage when it comes to these vehicles because sometimes we don't have any B-roll, which we don't. This has seven cameras of which one of them's for filming. Six of them are for not hitting anything. If you ever hit a drone, hit something, you'll be really glad that you have a Skydio. They're pricey, but they're worth every cent. Shall we try the brakes? Here we go. See, when you're stopping this heavy vehicle, you need to have big brakes. Nice balance again. BMW's done a really great job with retooling their vehicles and as they redesign them or do mid-cycle refreshes, which is what we call in the business, that they make a few changes, but not massive changes. They're starting to make the balance even better, making the interface even more intuitive. And I think they've done a really nice job and I'm really loving these seats. Let me give you a little bit about pricing. This vehicle starts at $73,000. It's $7,000 for the competition package. Yeah, that's worth it. Absolutely. This vehicle came in at $86,000. It had some other packages on it. I am 
truly, and I don't say this about a lot of vehicles, there's not even worth putting a car coach reports rating on this. The only negative I can think of is that stupid gesture control. And all right, the second row is a little bit tight, but there's nothing wrong with this car. And that's why I really like this vehicle. It's hard to find vehicles that have great tight turning radiuses, good braking, good performance, something you can use every day, a round view camera. It's got literally everything. If you can think of something else you would add, okay, maybe massaging seats, that doesn't count. That's not necessary in a competition vehicle. This vehicle has it all. Let's take a look at the back and I'll show you the storage area and we'll go over a few more details that you'll wanna know. Coming around to the back of this pretty impressive vehicle, you push the BMW Roundel logo and then you have your storage. Now there's additional storage underneath this container, not much, little spots on the corner, but it does have a full size spare, which is appreciated when you have an SUV. The seats can split 60-40 or in the center there's a pasture, so it's 40-40-20. The storage on this vehicle is partly what this vehicle is about but there's a little bit less than that of its competition, but it does have the competition package, which is a $7,000 package. I would buy this without a question, especially with this cool black wing. Across the back is this very cool high airfoil, and then you've got the BMW Performance Wing. I love this vehicle. It's just everything. You could put it on the track, you can drive it on the road, and you can have fun with it. So if you want that all-in-one package, this would be it, because I like to drive performance cars on a regular basis. LED taillights, you've got your valance across the back, just like the other M vehicles, and the cool exhaust pipes, and these are big old throaty sewer pipes. <laughs> Love that. Now, when you're looking at this vehicle as a whole, it has a four-year, 50,000-mile warranty. Fuel economy is somewhere around 17 miles to the gallon combined. I wouldn't really care personally. You might want to know that. For me, this is about having performance and utility, and that's what this vehicle is all about. Now, we will do a full review of this vehicle down the road, but I wanted to give you a first look at this vehicle before you went into the dealership, because their job is to sell you on the vehicle. Your job is to go in there with a little bit of car smarts, and that's what we cover on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell because we want you to ask your questions in the comments below. I will get you answers. If you can't get them from the dealer, I'll go right to BMW and get the answers for you. Because a vehicle like this, especially with this very cool Seo Palo Yellow, really makes a statement. If you are looking for a statement piece, remember you are what you drive. This says, I am loud, I am here, and I want you to know that I'm all about performance. There'll be more pictures of this on our social media, all channels at Lauren Fix. Check out our website where we'll have other reviews of this car, Car Coach Reports, it's in English and Spanish, and check out our podcast, Total Car Score, available on all platforms. We talk to the people that design these vehicles, engineer these vehicles, and why they did it, and how they're taking your feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.